hello welcome to just prime so this is a new series we are going to start to explore about the react js so react js one of the famous web development framework or javascript library which we are going to use to build the uh, web development so before jumping into the uh, react js so we just need to understand little bit about uh, the framework what we are trying to understand or, or what we are trying to learn it so the first question is what is react js so react js in a simple way we can define react js is a popular open source javascript library which can be used to build the user interface user interface can be it could be either web application or mobile application and basically it was developed by a facebook so it's open source anybody can use it it's a famous for web development so basically we can build the web applications as well as the mobile applications so that is the a simple way we can define about the react js so so the next thing is what is the main advantages what is the main advantage of react js we have many existing web development libraries right like we have javascript framework ajax css many other things so, but what is the speciality of this react js so that we are going to see is the next step so what are the benefit you are going to uh, achieve it by using the react js so the benefits is simple way we can see there are some of the benefits i had just listed out so as of now we just try to remember this a benefits or advantage of react js but going forward we are going to see in detail about all these points practically but as of now we just try to remember these points or these terms so it will make sense once we see some of the examples based on these points so the main <coughs> advantage what we can see here in the ppt so one of the advantage is virtual dom right so in the traditional way what we are doing the web development by using the html css or ajax right so in that case we are trying to refresh the page if there is any specific field is updated so it's a very tedious task to refresh the entire page it's taking time loading and entire page loading is not advisable right just for one field we no need to refresh the entire page so <clears throat> by using the react js we can avoid that kind of a tedious task like refreshing the page if there is a particular field is changed so then you can just refresh that particular field only and remaining page keep as it is so that we are going to achieve it with the help of virtual dom so the practical things we are going to see in subsequent videos so one of the feature is virtual dom right so the next one is component based architecture so this is one of the advantage right in existing uh, uh, web development by using the normal javascript so we are just writing the javascript code and injecting into the html page and again the same <coughs> the same html code we are trying to copy it in a different html page so that is very difficult to reuse the components when you come back to react js so that got changed so here we can able to build the components say for instance a button so that button can be used anywhere you can you one time you build the button and that same button can be used many places so button in the case in this case is a component so basically we are building a components and that particular component we are going to reuse it so basically react js is a component based architecture right so that's the way we can reuse the code the third advantage unidirectional data flow right so as what are the first point what we have discussed it if there is a field or element got modified in a particular data so how the data going to be updated in a central repository or central store so that is in react js case we are following the unidirectional so that makes very clear so the data should update one place and it should reflect to the uh, fields where we are using it it's unidirectional so update is one way and reflecting is in a different way so this is unidirectional and we are going to see the example going forward and the fourth point is declarative programming so basically the declarative programming means so the programming or the way we are writing the code it's very comprehensive so it's anybody can able to understand very easily by seeing the programming or 
the application what we build it so that makes more easy to understand other people if the code is written by somebody else so that's the way one of the advantage of the understanding the the code already written by somebody else and next our fifth point is strong community support like i said right so facebook had very strong community or many developers are contributing here right so if people are building the components and they are sharing it to other community people so that the people who build the component who are sharing in the community that can be used by other people as well so that you are getting many reusable components from the community itself so that's the way you will get strong support from the community and then sixth point is easy of integration right so this is one of the javascript library in the similar way you can able to integrate your react js or you can able to integrate other framework other javascript libraries in your react js very easily so basically it will support integration of existing or other javascript libraries so this is one of the uh, integration advantage redx pattern you can use one of the other javascript library you can use it here you can integrate it here so that's the way you can able to integrate many other javascript libraries over here bootstrap you can use it here you can integrate and you can use it here and the seventh point is a strong developer tools like i said right so so to use or to build this react js right so there are many uh, developer tools are available which you can use it to build the uh, applications by using the react js like um, you can use a simple microsoft tools there are many tools edit plus plus is available right <clears throat> microsoft code viewer so there are many tools are available which you can use it to build the uh, applications by using the react js so the next or eighth point is testing right so we are writing the javascript code a lot of components so how we are going to test it so components right so react js itself is providing the facility for testing or many other um, <coughs> existing frameworks you can use it and you can test your components what you are building it so that you no need to test at total application level you can able to test the react based components it's a kind of small unit testing you can able to do it by integrating your react code by using the um, adjust there are many other testing frameworks are available but we are going to discuss it soon so the next eight ninth point is easy to learn like i said right so this react js framework is built by a facebook and they are providing very good amount of framework so you can read the documents very easily and you can able to understand it so this is one of the easy way you table you can able to learn the react js and the next point is 10th performance so the performance wise the react is very good like i said right the previous slide virtual dom so like i said if there is any if you have a 10 fields in your form if one field got modified we are using virtual dom so it will use the diff algorithm to narrow down the particular field got modified and it will refresh only that particular field and remaining nine fields will stay as it is so that way you can able to achieve very good performance right and the next point is reusability right the previously we have discussed about the react is component based architecture so you can build the component one time and you can reuse it in many times in your application right so that is one of the major advantage of reusability and the next or last point is 12th point is cross platform like i said right so this react js can be used for um, web development or you can use it for mobile application development as well react native react js is web development react native is for mobile development so it can be useful to build the application in terms of cross platform as well so these are some of the main advantage of react js so totally we have discussed about 12 points which is the most benefit benefits of react js so i think that's all about this video we are trying to understand mainly like what is the react js and what are the benefits we are going to achieve it by using react js to build the web applications or mobile applications yeah i think that's all about uh, this video if you like the video you can subscribe to the channel and uh, to get more subsequent updates and thanks for watching and thanks for your time